Hi, it's Lois. Welcome to No Cruise Control News. Um, I've got my vlogs posting twice a week, uh, but I thought I'd do a new kind of YouTube video and do a bit of cruise news. Um, so this week I have um, been looking through the cruise news. <laughs> um, I've seen a very nice cruise I'd like to do and I'm sure many of you would want to. It's with Fred Olsen. So this week, probably actually the end of last week, um, yeah, the 15th, Fred Olsen announced that they are cruising through the Corinth Canal again. Now, I don't know if any of you saw pictures um, in the past when they have done it once before. Uh, the canal is so narrow and the ship only just fits and it just looks like amazing. Um, I'll pop a picture up so you can see if you haven't seen. Um, I think Braemar went through in 2019. Um, here we are, it's, it's 24 metres wide at its narrowest um, and it set a world record by sailing through the canal. So it was so successful that they are going to do it again. Um, I'll put a link in the um, YouTube video comments section um, about where you can go to look at that cruise and potentially book it. It looks fabulous. Um, it's a 25 nighter as well, so maybe more for the retired folk who can take that time off work. Um, but it, it sounds amazing. And there's also, there's a in my article on my website about it, the press release, there's a uh, link to Fred Olsen's YouTube channel where you can watch Braemar go through, um, which was fabulous. Other news. So let me just have a look to remind myself. Oh, exciting news from Majestic Line. Um, I don't know if you know of Majestic Line. They are a tiny little boutique kind of cruise line in Scotland. Um, and they do cruises around the Scottish, or Scottish Isles and along the Scottish coasts. Um, their boats are tiny, really cute. And they've got very exciting news that they are introducing their new vessel, um, called Glen Orkey. I'm probably saying it wrong. My Scottish, well, my pronunciation isn't good full stop, but Scottish um, thing's not so good. But it's a motor yacht available for private charter. Oh, exciting. So, you could go on an amazing Scottish um, adventure for three nights or six nights from Oban, I think it is, yeah, based in Oban. Um from May to August next year, and you could have the whole ship to yourself. How amazing does that sound? Um, you will have a cook, like housekeeper -y kind of person, I think, and a skipper, and that's it. The rest of the ship is yours. Uh, you can have a maximum of six people, I think it is, yeah, six guests, so one in a double on suite, a twin with two upper bunks, yeah. So it's perfect for couples, families or just friends who want to, you also have a chance to kind of say your itinerary, where you want to go, like how amazing does that sound? You like your, the people on below deck and in charge of your um, private yacht, <laughs> sounds fun. I'll pop in a link to the press release that I have on my website, um, which has a link of how you can book or investigate further if you so desire. I really think um, that's something that actually doesn't end up being that expensive. I mean, it, will, it is expensive, but when you think about the, what you're getting, like a ship to yourself, amazing. Um, what else is in the news here? Oh, so Arvia, p and newest ship, Arvia, who is being, her maiden voyage is next December, I want to say. I think it's December. Um, <coughs> so they have announced a new feature on Arvia that is not an Iona. So an exciting new feature. And basically, it's mission control and it is an underwater... Um, obviously, you're above water, you're on the ship. But it's like a a first multi-sensory escape room at sea. Um it's a new experience and is set underwater on board a fictional submarine Arvia 2. 
um, with a series of challenging, mind-stimulating live-action puzzles. That really does sound fun. And for such a family-orientated ship, I think that would be brilliant. Um, especially if you're... Well, I suppose it's in the Car Can um, Caribbean, um, RV will be, so... I don't know, if you want a bit of cool time away from the sunshine, get in and try out this. It sounds like it'd be fun for adults and kids, suitable for all ages, multiple storylines, and the expedition is led by fictional Dr. Ryan. It sounds really exciting. Um, and it's really exciting as a diehard pianoer um, to see piano like doing lots of young stuff which they've done a lot of over the last few years like don't get me wrong since Britannia has been around really it's been um young families all sorts it's good to see I'm moving with the times um yeah I'll put up a link to my story um press release on there and there then is a link for you to go and book these aren't affiliate links or anything I'm not um lucky enough to have those um, they're just links, so I don't get anything. I'm just doing this for fun because I find it of really exciting looking at the new cruise news and thought I'd share. Um, what else have we got in cruise news? Uh, let me have a look. I think there's something about Princess. There is. Actually, there were two things about Princess. First thing about Princess, the real holiday sale. I mean, I love a sale. And love a holiday, so put them together, especially a cruise. Uh, yeah, Princess are releasing um, their 2020... Well, they've released them already, but they're, they're having a sale, basically. Um, as most things do at this time of year, New Year, sale. Yeah, have a good old look for a bargain. You'll probably find one. Um, some examples of bargains with Enchanted Princess... Um, where else? Regal Princess, Emerald Princess. There's a good few examples there. I will pop a link in the um description, and you can have a look. And then there are links that are not affiliates, um, where you can go and have a look and have a look if one of them suits you and book another cruise. Um, the other news I have about Princess which I have scheduled to post shortly, is that Discovery Princess has just successfully completed her sea trials. So that's very exciting. Um, Princess's next cruise line, cruise ship rather, to launch. So very exciting news. I shall post a link to my the press release about that and I'm sure there will be... Um, chances to book well there are chances to book you can book now <laughs> um what other cruise news do we have silver sea i haven't even cruised to silver sea yet i have my first cruise of them booked for october however they're quickly becoming quite a a um favorite line even though i'm not cruised yet so they have announced their new ship um silver nova um she looks beautiful i shall pop a picture up um, her maiden voyage would actually be from Southampton. It says, join the cruising elite on Silver Nova's inaugural voyage. Let me have a look when that is. Pre-sale open to Venetian members. I'm not a member yet, but I shall be one in October. Um, so Silver Nova will be Silver Sea's first LNG powered ship. And building is underway. Um, she's been built in Maya Wurft. I can't pronounce that properly. Oh, interesting fact, I was due to go there to see Iona and um, the new Disney ship being built. Um, and another ship, oh, Spirit of Discovery. Um, and Odyssey of the Seas. I was due to go there in Easter. 2020 um, with Cruise with Amber as well the two of us we were going with Clear to the um, ship builder and then Covid hit and my work wouldn't 
we're not impressed with potential foreign travel at that time because COVID literally just hit. Um, but yeah, hopefully there'll be more opportunities to go to um, what to a shipbuilding ship yard. <laughs> um, so Silver Nova, she belongs to a new build project known as Project, project Evolution. Mm. She'll be the first hybrid luxury cruise ship free of local emissions at port. That's good. So she had a traditional steel cutting ceremony held back on the 18th of November. Um, and she'll be the first in a future line of Nova class ships. Exciting. And overall, the ship, um, the ship is to achieve a 40% reduction in its GHG emissions. This is comparison to its previous class of ships, the Muse class. So exciting, really. Um, she's set for delivery in summer 2023 and she'll be sailing from Southampton. We might have a look at that um, voyage. 2023's truly just got seaborne in it at the moment. Um, we'll see. Now, last but absolutely not least, did you watch Channel 5 yesterday and the day before? Um, so... Cruising with Susan Kalman was on, and it was a special Christmas cruising with Susan Kalman. Um, so the Scottish comedian and star of Strictly Come Dancing, and now star of Cruising with Susan Kalman, um, went on Hedy Grutens MS Maud on a winter cruise from Dover to Norway. <clears throat> so it was a two-part Christmas special, um, and it was brilliant. Um, she saw the Northern Lights. Lots of snow, lots of, um, what else was there? Lots of beautiful scenery. Um, she visited lots of different sort of small businesses, a brewery, a lady who made glass um, decorations. Oh, there was a lady who was making, um, what did she do? Like um, a punch and flatbreads or... Oh, just incredible looking cruise. I mean, it just looked amazing. Definitely whetted my appetite to go on a Hedegruten cruise up to Norway. Um, I've always wanted to do their postal route one, but actually I think I'd really like to do this one from Dover um, and some, spend some time sort of enjoying the ship on the way up and then some time chilling out on the way back down. Um, been pricing up um, the ship, uh, pricing up the ship, pricing up the cost of that cruise already. Panache are given a good, um, I'm in a solo cruiser group on Panache Cruises on Facebook and they have given a very interesting solo cruiser uh, offer. But also it would be nice to go up with Dave, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let me know if you have booked because it looks fabulous. Um, and there's also the Northern Lights Promise. Uh, what's that? So, their Northern Lights promise, excuse me, I'm going to read it from their website. We know that no trip to the Arctic Circle is quite complete without experiencing this highlight at least once on your journey. If the Northern Lights do not appear on your cruise to Norway, we will give you a six or seven day classic voyage free of charge. Can't argue with that. Free cruise. Wonderful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my new little cruise news. I hope to do this weekly, but we'll see how much cruise news there is, to be honest. Thanks for watching.